The uh, new poll question is... Who had the worst who... weekend, Dan? Um, we kind of need to populate this a little bit. Okay, how about DeJounte Murray? He, he bumped an official. The, well, I have to tell people he's Atlanta Hawks. And, and by the way, he's a good player, but he's, he's going to get suspended, I think. He's going to get sat down. Yeah. Right. Uh, Villain Brooks, I'm calling him, not Dylan. He's Villain Brooks, even though he doesn't want to embrace that. Uh, he did not have a good weekend. Uh, oh, here's one for you. Over under LeBron James points for tonight. Grizzlies getting four and a half against the Lakers. What do you think the over under is? Since everybody thought LeBron was going for at least 40 last game. That's not how he plays. His whole legacy was. Yeah, I know. His legacy was on the line and he and, let you down. And what hey, he allowed somebody to hit him in the balls. <laughs> I don't know. In if the he, legacy. He game. did not allow them to. Uh, looks like Invited. He, he invited that contact. He, he put him out there. He baited. He That's baited why Dylan he Brooks. Dribbled the ball right behind him, right there, knowing Dylan Brooks. <laughs> mm, mm, Classic mm, move. Mm. He invited that contact. Uh, and by the way, Dylan Brooks is uh, is blaming us, the media. I've been dealing with this two years now. It is what it is. The fans can talk whatever they want to. It doesn't matter to me. When you say you've been, doing, you've been dealing with this for the past few years, what is this? What do you mean by that? The media making me a villain, the fans making me a villain, and then that just creates a whole different persona on me. So now you think I intended to hit LeBron James in the nuts. I'm playing basketball, a basketball player. Okay, but these are two separate things. You're having a pity party. Because you wanted attention, got attention. All the attention going into this game, and then LeBron gets hit. Okay, there's other things that have factored in to Dylan Brooks being a villain. Because he wanted to be. He wants to be noticed. Hey, I can get 18 and nobody cares. Well, I can get 15 and then I can have 18 technicals this year. I can get in LeBron's ear. I'm making the highlights. People talking about me. When I'm getting 18, nobody cared. You got what you wanted. Embrace it. You didn't talk to the media after the previous game, which was soft. All right? You want media attention? What? What was wrong with meeting with the media afterwards? Embrace it. Be a villain. Draymond Green does. It's not like he's going, hey, I blame you guys because I'm getting these calls against me. He knows that. And you're going to be focused on. There's going to be a camera on you now. That's how it works. Let me, I'll give you a clue here, Dylan. In TV, we want to make good TV. It's content. You might make good content with LeBron every time down the floor. Do you whisper to him? Do you say something to him? Do you nudge him? Does he hit you? Don't complain about it. You ask for it. TV and you are in this together. But embrace it. Don't run away from it. If you truly are that guy and want to be that guy then go wire to wire with it. If not, go back to 18 and 7, all right? Because then nobody's going to notice you. There's a lot of guys in the NBA can give you 18 points a night. Your character, good player, but a character. It's like Draymond Green, good player, character. And then the NBA is littered with that, but a lot of those guys haven't been able to be good players, consistent. I mean, Patrick Beverly is not a good player. But he's you know, a villain. Lance Stevenson. Yeah, he's had moments, but what's he known for? Blowing in LeBron's ear. Here's LeBron James after the game. This is not my first rodeo. I've, I've had this throughout my career with you know certain individuals. It's easy. It's literally easy if you want to. We won tonight. Let me not start. I don't want to start this. It's a lot to, let me just, we won. You had a hell of a game, my boy. Yes, yes, you had a hell of a game. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. So do we have any more basketball questions, not trash talk questions? <laughs> no, don't fall prey to it. Don't let him bait you, LeBron. Just say, we won. That's the most important thing. This isn't a one-on-one -on -one battle with Dylan Brooks. He does what he needs to do for his team. I did what I needed to do for my team. Do I care if he gets suspended? That's up to the league. Like, 
don't lower yourself to that. You're one of the great. You're one of the three greatest players of all time. Two greatest players. You might be the greatest player of all time. When the history of the NBA, when we look back 30 years from now, nobody's going to be going, hey, remember Dylan Brooks? And not going to happen. Yeah, Mark. We're going to remember Dylan Brooks like we remember um, Ruben Patterson. Wow. Because he punched a horse? Well, no, because they called him the Kobe stopper. <laughs> For like a week yeah. and a half. Yeah. Well, remember uh, Gerald Wilkins? He was the uh, Jordan stopper. Did the Knicks sign him specifically for that <laughs> reason? Know. That's not a good signing if that's the case. Didn't Reuben Patterson in college punch a horse? During a game? No, that not, seems odd. not during a game. No, no. I think it, this was after a game in downtown Cincinnati if, or on campus or something, if memory serves me correctly. Yeah, they call him the horse puncher. Oh, Todd's Instead here of the today. horse whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> Horse, Horse puncher. Puncher. -er. Puncher -er -er. <laughs> I, I'm looking hard. I cannot find a story of Ruben Patterson punching a horse in college. And that's an interesting thing to put in your search, by the way. Who punched a horse? And they played at Cincinnati? Oh, not Melvin Levitt. No. I don't want to, I don't want to indict everybody who played at Cincinnati. I, didn't Ruben Patterson play for like the Seattle Supersonics or somebody like the that? The Blazers? Yeah. Yes, Todd. Looking at a Danny Fortson story. Danny Fortson punched the horse. His most notorious confrontation with police occurred while <laughs> okay. in college when he was accused of slugging a police horse. Okay, my he, bad. I... He in Cincinnati star Danny Fortson, who was arrested with him on allegations of drunkenness. He claims self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? The horse started yeah. talking. Uh, that's horse bleep. <laughs> 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 yes, Todd. Danny Fortson was with Art Long, who may have been the actual one who did the punching. They were together, drunk, oh, and acting up. Okay. And now I'm seeing some of that Art Long through the punch, and Danny Fortson was with him. Okay. I want to apologize to Reuben Patterson and the entire Patterson family, <laughs> and maybe Danny Fortson as well, and Melvin Levitt, and anybody who played for Bob Huggins. Sorry, Steve Logan. Yeah. Yes, Todd. This story says Long allegedly punched the horse four times in its neck during a May encounter with police officers in a shopping area near the Cincinnati campus. Thank you, Todd. Well, <laughs> well, it was a Cincinnati basketball player. You want Once some you more of this? Second neck punch. You yeah. want some more of this trigger? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's more where that came yes. from. <laughs> you punched a horse. That seems unnecessary. It does. It does. I mean, I don't know what the horse did to him. Not available for interviews. I heard the horse. Not, not talk to the media. No, refused to. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to because the media has made the horse out to be the villain. <laughs>